Once again, today we're working in Blender 2.5 Beta. The exact version is Blender 2.56.0. And we're going to be looking at keyframing lights. Uh, so let's get started here. We're in the default view. I'm going to hit one on my number pad here to go to front view. And I'll do a Control alt 0 to move the camera to that view. I'm going to delete the default cube. And I'm going to take the light source that's there by default. I'm going to grab it, move it here. And I'm going to Shift D to clone it. So now we have two light sources. Now I'm going to hit 7 on the number pad to go into top view. And I'm going to hit spacebar and type plane. Click add plane. I'm going to scale that plane up. And I'm going to press R to rotate, X for the X axis, and type 90 to rotate it 90 degrees and hit enter. I'll hit, z well first let's hit G to grab this plane and we'll move it back so it's behind the light sources. And I'm just doing that right now so you can see the light sources on an object. I'm going to hit zero on the number pad to go back to camera view here. And if we hit F12, we can see the rendering out. You can see the two light sources shining onto that plane. That They are plain white. Let's look at changing the color of them first. We'll hit escape to get back into our 3D window here. And we'll select this light on the right. And then over here, we'll select object data. And you can see you have an energy option and a color option here. So let's just choose uh, the energy option and turn it down to zero. We hit F12 here. You'll see that it's now dark where that light is because that light isn't putting off any energy. Uh, we can also choose this other light and we can make it a color. We'll just click on the color there and we'll just make it a blue color. And if we hit F12, you can see that light is now shining a blue color. We will also choose this light again. We'll turn its energy back up to one and make it, we'll say red. So with the two colors mixed together, we should get kind of a purple color in the middle and a red on the right side and a blue on the left side. That's all fine and dandy, but what if we want the lights to change color uh, throughout uh, our video? So right now we're at frame number one. You can see that down here. To make sure you're at frame one, you can hit shift and down arrow and that will bring you to the first frame in your project. And if we right click on the color here, you can see that it says we're working with color and you can insert a keyframe. So we'll insert a keyframe for color there. We'll do the same for this light source. And then we'll go up 10 frames just by hitting the up arrow once. We're now on frame 11. And what we'll do is we'll change the color here of this one to kind of a yellow color. And don't forget to right click and click insert keyframe. We'll do similar to this one. We'll click it and we'll make this one like a light blue now. We'll right click on the color and insert keyframe. We'll hit F12, just see what that looks like. And if we hit escape, you'll notice if you watch the color over here, as I hit my left arrow to go back in frames, you can see as it changes color. And we'll hit forward and you can see it changing back. And if we had the other light selected, you would see similar. So let's go another 10 frames. So I'll hit up arrow and we're now at frame 21. I will make this light now a pink color. Right click it, insert keyframe. And we'll click the other light here and we will make it a blue color. And we'll insert a keyframe. And we'll go up 10 more frames and uh, basically do the same thing again. Uh, change the color. We'll make this one a green color. And we'll insert keyframe. We'll make this one a blue color. Insert keyframe. And we'll do it again at frame 41. We'll make it kind of a orange color. And we'll insert keyframe. We'll choose this light. And we will make it a pink color. And we will insert keyframe. We'll have a look at what that one looks like. Ta da! Okay. So now we have the colors changing in animation. Um, let's also do the same thing for energy, though. Let's go shift, uh, shift down arrow to go back to our first frame. And what we'll do is we are going to set this light source to zero 
and we'll say insert keyframe. We'll do the same for this light source and we'll, whoops, insert a keyframe and we'll go up just 10 frames and we'll set it back to one. So basically our scene is gonna start off black and then the lights are gonna get brighter over the first third of a second because there's 30 frames in a second here. Uh, and here we'll click replace keyframe because I already set a keyframe for that. And so, as you can see in our preview here, the light is black. And as I hit over, it gets brighter as it also changes color. Going all the way through and we'll get to frame 51. And we will just, once again, uh, actually let's go back to frame 41. Insert a keyframe there again for that light. And same for, oh, that light's, we forgot to set that one to one at frame 11. So we'll go to frame 11, set that to one and insert a keyframe. Once again, go back to frame 40, insert a keyframe for both these lights. And we'll go to frame 50 and we'll set them to zero. Insert keyframe, choose the other light, do the same, set it to zero and insert keyframe. So what's gonna happen is the lights are going to uh, start off black. They're gonna be off, so everything will be black. Over the first third of a second, they will come in, start changing color, and then in the last third of a second, they will fade back to black. The entire video right now is 50 frames, which is less than two seconds. Probably could have spread this out a little bit more, uh, but doesn't really matter, just a tutorial. But what we'll also do is we'll go uh, to frame 31 here. And for this light on the right, we'll set its energy up even higher. So it will be really bright and we'll insert a keyframe. So that light will pretty much be brighter than the other lights pretty much almost all the time. So let's go to a frame somewhere in the middle here. We'll go We'll go to frame third, no, 41 here. We'll hit F12 to see what that looks like. It's rendering out. That's what it looks like. Let's look at frame 20. You can see what that looks like. And I will now go to our render options here. I will choose uh, my preset. I'll just choose a uh, NTSC widescreen. I'll choose a XVID as the video output and I'll just save this as lights.avi is what it will be and I'll come up here and I will click animate and it will start rendering that out and once it's done rendering out which shouldn't take too long maybe a minute or so here for the 50 frames I will play the video here at the end and you can see what it looked like. Now uh, I also just want to thank you for uh, watching this video and I ask you to visit filmsbychris.com and there's links in the description to more information on this uh, and I'll also upload this blend file uh, to the post that is the first link in the description. I thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day.